Hey guys, Omega Dan here, what's up? This year, Samsung has made a literal fusion of the S22 line and the Note series to give us what could arguably be one of the best Samsung devices to date. I have to say, using this has been very fun and it's no slouch in the Android world. But the question is, is this the right device for you? Who is it meant to be for? And will this actually be your next tech purchase, the next smartphone you should upgrade to? Well, let's check that out. The S22 Ultra bears strong resemblance to the previous Note lineup with the sharp squared off edges and boxy rectangular shape. The overall design is both sleek and minimalist that is clearly up there for those who are looking for something stylish yet practical. The corners, however, do not make this one of the most comfortable phones to use, so a case could be considered unless you want to use it bare. There is no longer a housing for the cameras at the back which leaves them more flushed on the back, but they are still jutted out enough that it still wobbles on the table, so be careful with that. The back is Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, which does decently well against fingerprints and the phantom black color I have here is pretty nice. Now Samsung has been known to provide their flagship smartphones with some of the best displays on the mobile phone market. And the S22 Ultra definitely, obviously, continues that trend. The S22 Ultra has a massive 6.8 inch 1440p dynamic AMOLED display with HDR10+, Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, and 120Hz refresh rate for very smooth scrolling and animations. The display is absolutely beautiful with color reproduction, sharpness, and detail. The peak brightness goes up to a whopping 1750 nits, which makes outdoor visibility in direct sunlight no issue whatsoever. Watching Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, and so forth will look damn good on this device. So enjoy that late night movie in bed or in that special chair in your man cave because this screen will not disappoint. Now as much as I would have loved to have tried the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 which is released for the US region, the Exynos 2200 which is made by Samsung themselves and with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, performance has been surprisingly good. Now, I try my best from now to stay away from benchmarks, so I usually rely on my day-to-day -day usage. So here's what I experienced. Navigating through the home screen, web pages, and switching between other apps has been smooth and fast. I've experienced a bug here and there, such as the camera app closing a few times on me while being idle and lagging while playing some graphically intensive games. This could be due to the graphical limitations of the Exynos chip, which has been known to fall behind the Snapdragon. Overall, however, playing games like Dark Nemesis and Call of Duty have gone pretty well, so you won't have much issues playing major mobile gaming titles on this beast. Of course, one of the main selling points for this phone was basically the reason why the Note lineup was so sought after, and that is the built-in stylus. Now I've tried third-party styluses before, but never have I used one so smooth, responsive, and accurate like the S Pen for the S22 Ultra. With a latency of 2.8 milliseconds, using it literally almost feels like writing on paper with a pen. When using the Notes app, writing short notes is a pleasurable experience with letters and words being written in real time. This is also a similar experience in Pen Up, where your coloring feels especially nice. I also like the additional features such as translating text, AR doodling, and screen writing. Now, I did notice that when I'm using a third-party application like IBIS Paint, there is a lag with writing on the screen that you can actually see here. And it kind of makes you think that perhaps not all apps are able to utilize the low latency of the S Pen. So that's something you should definitely um, know about when you're using another different application for your drawing and writing needs. Now, call quality has been pretty good on this. And the recipient on the other end of my call said that I sounded very clear and very good. So no issues there whatsoever. At the same time, the audio quality overall, thanks to the dual stereo speaker setup, is really good. It gets to a respectable loudness and you can definitely enjoy listening to some tunes just with this phone. There's no motion crew, and we up in the growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chillin', kickin' it, kiss by the sun. Could be so to the skin in the morning, and the sugar. However, 
If you are holding the phone in landscape, your hand may cover the bottom firing speaker, which will definitely muffle the audio significantly, as through my use, I noticed that this is where much of the audio comes out of. The S22 Ultra comes with a quad camera setup, a whopping 108 megapixel wide, a 10 megapixel periscope telephoto with 10 times optical zoom, another 10 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel 120 degree ultra wide. The telephoto cameras combine to offer 100 times space zoom as well. As expected of Samsung's best, pictures taken are really nice. We see the usual boost in vibrancy and saturation that makes colors pop. There is good sharpness and detail and good lighting as well. The zoom lenses have also seen massive improvement with the 3x and 10x zoom being great in detail and dynamic range. Even with 30 times, while losing some detail and retaining some noise, it is still quite usable. The 100x zoom is… well, let's move on. The 40 megapixel front camera is also an achievement as I was able to get some of the cleanest and most detailed selfie shots I've ever gotten on a smartphone. Portrait mode has also improved with much better edge detection and the nice blurring of the background is just icing on the cake. I was most impressed with the improvements for low light shots, just like in this room with barely any light whatsoever and even without night mode on, you can still get serviceable pictures. Turning on night mode shows quite an improvement with proper focus and crispier detail. This is a video at 4K at 30 frames per second, and as you can see, Samsung has really improved their video quality to the point it is definitely trying to contend against what the iPhone has to offer. Footage is detailed and crisp. Even with super steady mode off, footage was quite steady and let me remind you that super steady mode will only max footage to full HD at 60 frames, so choose carefully what you want out of your footage. Now with this having a whopping 5000 mAh battery, my normal usage from scrolling through social media, watching YouTube and Netflix videos, playing games and checking the news and whatsoever, I get about 30 to 40% at the end of the day and I could go into the next day with some more usage before charging this up. So this is definitely a day's use for me, no problem. Now this might improve if you turn off the 120Hz and switch to 60Hz and set the screen resolution down to 1080p. But if you're going to pay for the best, you might as well use the best settings. The S22 Ultra has 45 watt charging with no charging brick in the box, so I'm helplessly stuck with my 25 watt charger, which gets it from 40 to 100% in a little over 40 minutes. Samsung, please hear me out. I'll take a thick retail box with a charger over a thin one any day. To me, this is the most stable and polished Samsung device released so far and I've had as much fun with it as I did with the Fold 3. With commendable battery life, a brilliant display, stellar performance with very few hiccups, an S Pen for fluid writing on screen and amazing cameras, Samsung has made the S22 Ultra a major contender for one of the best smartphones for 2022. Samsung has really improved their Exynos chips to the point that you may not miss Snapdragon as much as you thought you would. With all that being said and done, I personally don't think that this phone is right for me and let me tell you why. I haven't been using the stylus very much, I'm not much of an artist so I'm not drawing or coloring and to do so on a smartphone isn't really a priority for me. And I don't really write down notes on a smartphone a lot because I prefer to type them up. And with all that being said, and since having a stylus like this and the extra bells and whistles and camera upgrades constitute a hefty price tag because this ain't cheap, I personally think I would prefer the S22 or the S22 Plus as you know my new upgraded you know, smartphone. But overall, this is still great. I had a wonderful time using this. I feel like this is the most stable, um, perfect kind of smartphone that Samsung has released. Uh, but you know, like for those who want the best of the best that Samsung has to offer with the camera upgrades, the build quality, the performance, you know, and those who can best utilize the S Pen for their daily activities from drawing, writing, and um, coloring even, then this is the right smartphone for you. In fact, I had such a good time with this, I barely had anything bad to say about it. It's been a really fun experience. So for the first time, I think on this channel, I'm giving this a 9.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching my review on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. 
Now, if you really want to get this for yourself, check down in the description below for an Amazon affiliate link for this item itself. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of any new future content that is released on the channel. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to live life and stay connected. Till next time.